Urban in lane four. One length of the pool. Below him is Adrian. Boy, I had my eye on that start for Urban, and each time he's gotten better. That's what he needed. I think if he had a good start, he might be able to punch his ticket to London. Look at Colin Jones up in lane two, second from the top. Urban's trying to battle back to below him in lane four. It is Jones up top in lane two. Adrian's going to the wall. Separated by one one hundredth of a second, and the amazing journey for Anthony Irvin continues. That's a shocker. The shocker is Nathan Adrian won't swim the 50 in London. That is a huge upset, a huge upset for Irvin and for Jones, but they're the best pure, true swimmers. And you knew Colin Jones, with the way he was swimming, the way he attacked that final on the 100 freestyle, he wasn't afraid to take it out. You can see Irvin and Jones getting together. The start, the older you get, the harder it is to get off the blocks. There he is, there's Colin Jones, that was Anthony Irvin. But he generates that speed, Irvin does, by staying low off the blocks and is good at directing that speed into a clean entry. And here's the finish, Dan. You have to resist the temptation to spin your wheels. Even though it's a 50, you've got to hold your stroke together. And nobody did that better in that race than Colin Jones. And look at that long frame as he leans into the wall. It's almost like he punches the wall, and so did Irvin. Look at his head. Watch Irvin's head. Irvin keeps that head down. And he only beat Nathan Adrian by eight one hundredths of a second. So Colin Jones continues to surprise, second to Adrian in the hundred, and he wins the 53 by one one hundredth of a second over Anthony Irvin and Nathan Adrian out of the mix in the 50 by eight one hundredths. Down to Andrea. Thank you very much, guys. Even though, you, even though you've been here before, the excitement, the emotion, what were you feeling? Uh, I couldn't let 2008 happen again. Uh, I got third in the 100, third in the 50, so I just knew I wanted to go out there and do as best as I could. I had a real Floyd Mayweather mentality. I couldn't be beaten, and I went out there and did it. How are you such a different swimmer from four years ago? Um, changed my diet. Love you too. <laughs> I worked out really hard. Uh, my coach stayed on me all year, and I had great training partners. I mean, Nick Brunelli, Josh Schneider, and racing guys like this who's coming back trying to teach me a lesson. <laughs> I had guys to, to really look to for inspiration. Thanks very much, Colin. 12 years later, you are a very cerebral individual. How do you put this accomplishment into perspective? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy, and... You know, I gotta, I gotta give credit and credits where credits due. All the people that supported me the whole way. A special shout out to uh, the kids at Imagine Swimming in New York City and the Oakland Undercurrents. You kids inspire me. So keep doing what you're doing, and I'll keep doing what I'm doing. How do you keep doing what you're doing? How do you keep this going to London? I don't know. I mean, I just why stop? I just think. I mean, uh, it's been an incredible journey, but the journey continues. Congratulations, a pleasure to watch you swim. Thank you. Thank you.